And now, I don't know what he's doing. He's popping back and forth left. And he did it again, bro. Can you just cooperate? Because you're going to get hurt, and it's not necessarily a reason for you to get hurt. I just need you to just think about what's going on here. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to DOJ. Jumping in here, doing some law enforcement with the Los Santos County Sheriff's Office and the Ford Taurus. We got some new models coming out here shortly. I'm going to mix in those videos with the ones that I have currently recorded. Uh, some new 2020s for the Metro BCSO, uh, and hopefully some slick tops as well, too. Really excited for that. Um, this one is going to be a little longer in an episode just because I left a lot of the stuff that I would normally cut out. Uh, and it's not just, it's usually just talk, uh, talking and stuff like that. So you guys will have to let me know if you guys want a little bit more of that extra added stuff kept in there. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump into this and see what we can get into. Okay, what were you trying to say? I'm sorry. Um, I was about the LTD a couple minutes ago, and some uh, guy in a black hoodie, and um, he was driving a black four-door. I don't know the vehicle type, but he grabbed me and then tried to shove me in his trunk. I think it might have been a stainier. I'm not 100%. The only thing I'm familiar with that would be off-brand is a stainier. A vapid uh, yeah. stainier. Okay, yeah. so is it is it the vanilla version of the Crown Victoria? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So fill this out. I need it in detail and I need it in my peripherals if you expect us to do anything about this, okay? All right, sounds good. Okay, so take your time filling that out and then give it to me when you're done. Excuse me. I don't know what this guy's doing, but he just pulled in here way too aggressively. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mr. Muscle Car Man. Excuse me, sir. Hello. Oh, wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Do you mind providing me your you license, registration, insurance for this vehicle? Why? What did I do? Because you just fucking skirted in here like you were the Fast and the Furious. What do you mean? Uh, now this car kind of pulls. I mean, I, I can't handle the muscle that it has, man. That's totally fine. Well, until you start handling it, then you're going to be able to have to deal with us. So just give me your license, registration, insurance. As long as I don't have a slew of these incidences that you have been uh, cited for. I'll let you go with the warning, but... Okay. Uh, I just have to get it from my glove compartment. Yep, you're good. Got any weapons or anything inside the car, or no? Uh, just a uh, pocket knife. Pocket knife, okay. And a uh, pool stick. A pool stick, okay. Do you play pool often? Do you keep that specifically for a weapon? Uh, I play pool. You play pool, okay. All right. Do you have the pool stick uh, broken down, or is it all together? There's my ID. Uh, it's kind of broken, man. I need to get a new one. Broken, as in you unscrewed the two pieces together or, uh, from apart, or it's broken, broken. I see. So it looks like you just have a, you don't have the top part attached. Yeah. Okay. So it's not technically broken then. It's broken. Okay. What were you doing here at the gas station? You can put that away. Uh, nothing. Just, uh, inspecting it. Inspecting what? The gas station? Yeah. Making sure it's, uh, nice and clean. Okay. Uh, are you going to get gas? Mm, uh, yeah. Okay. So stay here, either stay by your car or sit in your car with other one. Do not leave. I have your license. You're not free to go. Okay. 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 Thank you so much for your cooperation. I don't know what the fuck this guy's up to, but there's some next level shit going on over here. I'm handling two fucking things right now. Okay. How are we looking with that witness statement? Coming up with it right now. Okay, perfect. All right, there you go. Okay. All right, appreciate it. I got a lot going on right this second, so you guys got to apologize. I got this guy who's now pulling out a switchblade, which is a legal weapon. So give me a Ooh. second really quick, and I'll be right back with you, okay? I can only do All too right. many things I, here. I understand. Lucky 24. If I get additional unit to 857 Grove Street, I'm trying to deal with one scene. I got another guy pulling out a switchblade, and I get some help. Hey, can you... Put the switchblade on the ground. 
Yeah, the, the knife in your hand. I need you to put it on the ground because that's... You can't have a switch. Whoa! Please don't walk towards me with the switchblade. What are you doing? I was gonna show you my switch no, I don't want you to show me it. When at gunpoint with the switchblade, he's walking towards me now. Can you just cooperate? Because you're going to get hurt and it's not necessarily a reason for you to get hurt. I just need you to just think about what's going on here and just cooperate with me, okay? Put the Wonder. put the knife on the ground. Got non-lethal. There you go. Put the, put the pool, uh, pool cue on the ground as well, too. No, no, no. Face me. Just have any more weapons on you. Any more weapons on you. Okay. There we go. Good. I'll be closer to Now do me a favor, put your hands up and turn away. Chicken guy, you gotta move the fuck out of the way, bro. You're gonna get hurt if not. Okay, back up to my voice. I like how my hair on this one isn't fucking highlighted too, why? Okay, back up, back up. Stop, stop, stop. It's gonna be too much. Man, I mean no harm. I know you didn't, but you I don't need you to show me it though. We're code for uh he was only the only one in the car, so we're good here. Okay, I'm gonna go back and help the nose out. Okay, appreciate it. Again. Okay, so when I tell you wrong with your face. Yeah, that's uh understatement. Do me a favor, just put your butt again. Actually, I need to patch it down. So face this car right here. Okay, can I get one of you guys to uh, help me out, please? I got these walking? other two guys by my car. Well, it's actually just one guy. He's in the purple next to my car on the side of the road over there. I need... Uh, just tell him to replace his witness statement in your peripherals. Uh, he has it all typed out. He was uh, yeah. almost abducted by some guy in a black four-door. So he has all the information over there. I just need someone to kind of work on that. Okay, I'll go talk to him. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm going to take uh, your items out and place them on this hood, okay? All right. You can turn around and face me and just kind of put your butt against the car there. Relax. So, any reason why when I told you to put the knife down, Rich? See, I was over there on the sidewalk. I heard you playing with the switchblade. So, I was going to come over and tell you that's obviously a weapon you cannot have. And then upon that... What? I'm sorry? A switchblade? I can't have a switchblade? No. It's an illegal why? weapon. Because the blade retracts and detaches, or it goes up and down by itself. Oh, 15, 15, 15, 15, What's your status then on Grove? Oh. You need more systems? Okay. Negative. We're code four here. Eight five seven. Well, it's a beautiful switch blade, and uh, I bet they are. That's, I, I don't. I'm not, you know, arguing that at all. I'm arguing the fact that you can't have the switch blade in the first. But you can have a knife, but you can't have a automatically retracting, and uh, you know, it can't go up and down by itself. Okay, understandable. Can I have my switch blade back and take it home? No, unfortunately not. You can't. So I'm gonna figure out exact so did you not understand what i was saying when i said stop Swish, uh i'm a little bit slow okay that doesn't answer my question did did you not understand uh, what uh, i said when i said stop my hearing aid doesn't work no i didn't okay no you didn't but okay where'd you get the switchblade i got it off of my uh my brother Okay. You have any more inside the car? Nope. Alrighty, well. Hope you understand you can't have them. You're gonna have to sit tight here, okay? I'm gonna put you in the car, that way I don't have to wor worry about you or anything. Uh, sit tight right there, okay? AC's on in there so you won't get too hot. Okay. Okay, so, um... Uh, did any who searched the vehicle? Uh, as far as I'm aware, I don't think anyone searched it yet. Okay, can you get it searched? Make sure there's no other weapons inside the vehicle, and then from there I can figure out what's going on. I'm not sure if he's understanding my commands that I gave him. So if anything, I'll just confiscate the. I'll do a sight and release probably, and that way he doesn't have to go to jail or anything. Show All up right, to yeah, court. I'll search it for you. 
Cool, I appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna cite and release you today. You'll go to court. You don't have to go to jail today or anything, but you're gonna have to speak to a judge about that, okay? You can let him explain uh, your side, where you got it, why you had it, all that stuff. But uh, you won't be receiving it back today. I'll let you go with your vehicle. I'm just gonna check you for warrants and all that. Make sure you have a valid driver's license and I'll get you out of here, all right? Alrighty, what about my pool stick? Uh, I have no reason to confiscate that, so I'll place it in the trunk of the vehicle and it'll be there for when you take off. Alright, thank you. Okay, sit tight for me. I'll be right back. Seems like a pretty equal and fair outcome to this, so we don't need to, you know, wrap this guy up in anything too crazy. Of course I can't make it through that. Guys, please not coming back. Not coming back. Okay, well, he might not be leaving with the car. Do a uh, soft search in your peripheral, see if it possibly comes back that way. Okay, we're going to be doing a... Um, it would be an arrestable charge, so let's go ahead and get this filled out. It's going to be a Don Oven Smith. This is going to be arrestable, but we're going to do a site and release. Spelled that wrong. Donovan. Decided to release. That way he doesn't have to go to jail tonight. He can just speak to the judge at the uh, court date. Vehicle type. We're not sure if that's coming back to him or not. So we're going to have to wait a second. That's going to be an illegal weapon. Possession of illegal weapon. Which is going to be a felony. No matter what. Jail time. But it's going to be a sight. Where's the part where I do it? Criminal summons. Okay, so it'll be a criminal summons for this. Uh, that means he goes to court for it, speaks to a judge. That'll be two weeks from now. I'll just put it from the 18th. Says it's not in the cat. I'm just going to go ahead and forget it right this second. Uh, we are going to put him as armed. I'm not going to do violent or mentally ill. Uh, well, actually, there might be a possibility of mental illness just due to the fact that he's having some difficulties um, for personnel effects and items seized. That would be negative on that. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on with them, but I'm going to type out a narrative really quick. We'll have him sign this and we'll get him out of here. Okay, everything's good with that. If you want to check that out, you go ahead and pause it really quick. That way you can read it. Uh, let's go ahead and get this guy out of here. Get our notepad for the criminal summons that he'll have to take care of. I like how he's now doing jogging or something. Not sure where that came from. All right, so if you don't mind popping up here for me, whatever you're doing. Okay, it's going to be a criminal summons today, so two weeks from now, uh, you're going to have to go to court, okay, for this. It's uh, technically an arrestable offense, but since you really didn't harm anyone or anything like that, and I'm not sure if you're understanding what's going on, I'm not going to take you to jail. I'm just going to take the items that are legal, and then you go about your day, okay? Okay. Okay. Smith. Yep. Do you want to sign the bottom, or was that you signing the bottom? Uh, I signed it. Okay, that was you signing. All right, there's your copy. And uh, again, that pool stick cue is in the back trunk. Just do me a favor, shut the trunk. Don't place it in the cab of the vehicle, okay? Uh, okay. As stated before, your knife is being seized. All the other items are on the hood of the Dodge Charger to your right there. You're welcome to grab those items and you're free to go. All right, thank you. Yep, show up to court. You're going to have a warrant out for your arrest, okay? Okay, I'll remember. Okay, have a good day. You as well. All right, we're good here. Once he grabs his items, he can move his car and we're code four. Monkey 24, code four, 857 Grove Street, Davis Avenue. So we have an officer out there chasing a stain here, and then we also have the stain here that's still active. So Monkey 24, is there an officer that's chasing a black stain here right now or went after a black stain here? Copy. I'm in a hedge room. I just had those stopped. Uh, I'll be right back, sir. Gonna be a very, uh, gonna be... They got the subject down here. Eight Barry four six. Trample. Barry Trample. There it is. C R A M P L E. Monkey twenty four. Copy. Uh, dispatch. We're out with that subject now. Making contact at eight four six Covenant. What's going on, man? Can I help you? Yeah. Uh, so this is definitely the guy that we saw earlier. Barry. Oh, Barry, that's our guy. <laughs> Detective Bosch with the LSPD SID. Um, so we got some information that came to us. You got a few minutes to talk about that with us? That's cool. What you got, man? Hi, area. 
Were you over at the uh, Grove Street gas station earlier, bro? Yeah. Yeah. What were you doing over there? Uh, I went to see my girlfriend. Oh, cool. What's your girlfriend's name? Daisy. Oh, okay. Yeah, they just arrested her for heroin. Oh, oh good. <laughs> you mess around? You got anything on you? Got any weapons on you? Uh, no. Why? What's up, man? No, I'm just having a conversation. Just want to check with you. So, if I were to tell you I had a report of an attempted abduction and that you're matching the description perfectly along with your vehicle, what kind of would be the response from that? Who was it? Was it a purple guy? That doesn't matter who yeah. it was. Oh, yeah, I know who he is. One zero two okay. Three zero. One so, can you give me your side of the story, kind of what happened, my man? Four six. Uh, I meant I put him in my trunk. Did you put him in your trunk? Okay, look around for me. We're gonna just put some cuffs <laughs> okay, on you. Okay, that was right now. Okay, that was quick. Walking cool. 24, we're gonna have a detainment at 846 coming in. Right now, you're just oh, okay. Well, we'll, we'll figure all that out. Right now, I'm just gonna detain you and I'm gonna patch you down for weapons. Also, sure? uh, officer, well, see, now the thing is, sir, we have a that's the conflicting issue that I think we have right this second is... Who, who'd you say? The cripple? The cripple? Yeah, was that what you said? No, guy in purple. Oh, purple. Okay. I thought you said the cripple at first. I was like, we're talking about two different people then. We're not talking about two different people. Thank God we're talking about the same person and you're also not calling people cripples. I guess that's two good things right there. So the, uh, the one thing that's not good is the fact that the guy in purple, not the cripple, who is not crippled, wearing purple... He Control is saying that you're not friends, and he filed a police report against you. So at this moment, we really have zero wiggle room. We're going to get you detained. We're going to get down there. We'll speak with them one more time, and we'll go from there. But it's best that you just cooperate. That way, everything goes smooth. Cool. Appreciate it. You want to detain him? 10 4 stand by. I was going to get you 20. Eight five zero and a six four. That way, if this is a big misunderstanding, you get let go. No more charges for possibly anything silly, you know. Okay, I'm gonna head back down there. Make sure the guy in purple is still there. If you want to pat him and then bring him down, I'll meet you down there. Yeah, copy. Okay. Yeah, no problem, boss. Cool. See you there. Let's get down there. Make sure that our subject's still there. Um, I wanna. I, we need to talk to him because we have this guy saying that they're friends, but. In actuality, the other guy is saying that they're not, so I'm not sure exactly what the issue of conflictingness is between these two gentlemen, but obviously there's something going on. Okay, what's your name, sir? Lamar Anderson. Lamar, okay. So how come I have him saying that you guys are friends and then you're over here filing police reports? What? Where, who's who's not telling the truth? I, I don't know that guy. I swear on my life, I've never seen him one day in my entire life. Okay, so you're not friends with them, correct? No. All right. And you filed your police report honestly and 100% as best accurate as you can describe it, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, well, at that moment, we're going to be placing him under arrest then for the attempted kidnapping. He did admit to it, but that's what makes it odd is that you would think he wouldn't admit to it if you guys were friends. You know what I mean? Like, why would, you know, in his mind, he thought everything was cool. So I don't know where the disconnect is, but if you're saying you're not friends, then that's what's going to happen here in the next couple seconds. So, Like I said, I never seen him a day in my life okay. i don't know his name at all at if all that's what it is that's what it is i cannot say either way so five, the officer five, who three. made the arrest on that gentleman in your car we are going to be going forth with the arrest this guy doesn't know him so we'll just go ahead and stick with the police report like we have it copy i'll run him down cool i appreciate it uh, other than that, I have your witness statement from earlier. We have the subject now. Everything's been figured out on that, so you're pretty much good here. We don't really need anything else from you. All right, All right thank you so ball. much. I appreciate it. Absolutely. You have a good day. We appreciate you letting yep, us you know. Too. Yep. Well, there we go. Do you need any call notes um, from that, or can I clear this out? 
I we have everything we need from the previous time we spoke, so you can clear it and you can go ten eight. I do appreciate it. Yep, have a good one. Thank you, you as well. All right, we're good here. Okay, and he did tell you, right, that he was only... Control uh, calling five the guy only five tried to kidnap three. him once. The second time, the guy just rolled through. Yeah, correct. We're, we're going off of the first time attempted kidnapping. That's also yeah, what he said that he... Five, the guy copped to it, said that he put him in the trunk. Okay, right. so the, the, what the guy told me was he, the guy tried to kidnap him twice, and then he said his story, and he just parked in front of his vehicle. The first time he came up, he had said it the correct way, and then I think maybe he said it the wrong way the second time he said it to you. So we were, were yeah, so everything's... I, I don't think I have anything with him. Is that traffic for Monkey24? I'm just trying to figure out where you are. Sorry, I was asking control. 857 to help him out. Okay, so well, basically just, uh, everything. Tag me under this call, please. I'm in route. Everything checks out with this. Um, we're good. Yep. I, I don't think he was lying to us. Supposedly, it's a little weird that the guy said that he's not friends with them, and then over there he says he's friends with them. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense, but. Okay. I'm not good. Maury, so I don't know. If you said clear okay, call cool. number. Okay, cool. You four, are three, not the friend three, and or the father. Who, me? You. Me. Yes, you. Um, okay. <laughs> you don't get it. Never mind. I, I, I really don't. <laughs> I, I know you don't. Hello? Walking 245 David 1160. I'm going to have you around 856 856 Davis Avenue. Callers claiming that someone came up to them, held a pistol, and they were making threats towards them. It's going to be a uh, white I can't even get away from this short. area, bro. Caller's name is oh Aaron my Walker. god. Callback number is going to be in cat. Lucky 24 copy and route, you can show me 23. Advise caller is in Mega Mall parking lot. Okay, Mega Mall parking lot. I believe I see a suspect vehicle or a victim vehicle right here. Are you the one that called 911? Okay. What's going on? So I was at the gas station filling up my car here and uh, you're. Uh, this, I I would say a female, but I don't know. Walked up Is to it me. That while, one that was, I think yeah, it's the one. one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they walked up to me, said you got your but their buddy uh, arrested and to watch myself. I then was acting. I didn't know their buddy, so I was like, I don't know who you are. I don't know your buddy. You know, leave me alone, whatever. And then I pulled in here, and I see them coming down the corner from the LTD towards my vehicle. So I thought they were going to start, like, a fight or something. I will admit, I do have a knife on me for protection. So I did pull that out. Control calling Just because I thought I didn't know if they were going to try to do something or if I needed it. Is it that it. pink vehicle right there? Nope, it's not them. They were walking. Well, that's the female. Yeah. That's the vehicle oh. she owns, though. Yeah, I don't know if she's driving it or. Where was if it? I could did. go stop it really quick. Just or just it's go right check. It's right over there oh. in the. It's right over there in the front of the Mega Mall. Are they in it? Over by the entrance. Oh, I see yeah, him. Okay, driving. let yeah. me check. We're just gonna verify to see if that's the same female. Oh, they got such dark window tint. Let me see here. Nope, that's not gonna be him. That is not the subject we're looking for. Their vehicle is in motion, though. I guarantee... What the fuck was that? You can't make that turn like that. I'm gonna have you check on two Lincoln. God damn it, dude. I'm gonna follow him back. Because uh, I guarantee we're... They're gonna take that car. She just crossed the railroad track. We need a reason to stop her. Copy. It's not her driving the vehicle. It's someone else. So I'm gonna need to follow her and see where she takes it. Crossing the railroad tracks yet again. Definitely acting very sketchy in the way that they're operating that motor vehicle. Not sure what's going on. I'm gonna. J oh wait, that's her right there. That's her right there. She's getting in. Now I got a PC to stop that car too for the railroad track violations. Monkey 24. The pink vehicle just picked uh, up that female that's wanted in questioning. I'm about to light him up. We're gonna be in front of the LTD. Cop. It sounds like we have the aggressor here at 856. He's the one that pulled the knife on the lady and she pulled the revolver out. Copy. I'm just going to get their story then for their side. How we doing? Hello. Hi. Can I get... We're doing all right. Good. Good, Good to hear. Can I get uh, both of you to step out? We're going to have a chat out here really quick. All right. 
Obviously, I think you know what's going on. We're going to have an incident or have a chat about the incident that happened with that gentleman over there in the Mega Mall or close to or whatnot. Oh, I'll, I'll, oh is that what this yes. is about? That is what this okay, is about. Okay, also, multiple violations on the driving on the driver, but you know what they say. Okay, so I was over here at the gas station and uh, it was that one officer that's bald and sometimes slow. Yeah. Uh, well, well, he uh, almost rear-ended uh, me when he was backing out of the gas pump, and he hit that guy over there. But they went their separate ways, and I was walking down the road. He went over to the parking lot over there as I was walking by, and pulled out a knife on me. Said, oh, you really want to mess with me, so I pulled out my gun. I see. But I walked away. All right, so is that what we're going to have him say, or is that just going to be a one-sided thing? What is the... I, I, mean, I mean, you can always check the CCTV footage. From where? From 20, the LTD I don't think that's don't operating. Oh, man. Well... Never does. I'm, I'm just years. telling you. Okay. I, so I'm, I'm going to just double-check. He pulled but... a knife out on me, and I walked away. I pulled my gun out because he threatened it with me with a knife, but I walked so, so away. So did you have a okay. gun? So they don't, yeah, well, a revolver, actually, not even. Well, since when did you have a gun? I, I had it earlier, but then I left it at home. Fantastic. So, driver of the pink vehicle, I need your license registration insurance for the multiple U-turns you did over a railroad track. Uh, you also went left out of the Mega Mall parking lot over the railroad track, even though that's not a place to take a left-hand turn. It's dedicated right, because that's the only two lanes of travel you have access to. Yet you decided to make your own. All right, it's her car, but I know it's uh, her car. I need your it. information. Grab right. her stuff from the glove box if you could. That'd be great. Can you help me run the plate side of this for the traffic stop? I'm gonna handle the like an knife control. one. Stammer one. Okay, I'm gonna be straight up with you. He's saying the same thing that he pulled the knife, you pulled the gun. So you're looking in the clear. Uh, but that's why we're stopping and having a chat today, like I said, minus this guy who's pulling U-turns and stuff on the railroad track. I appreciate that, uh, Mr. Crample. I'm gonna hand this off to this, uh, officer here. He's gonna take a look at it, get everything checked, okay? So you're looking good, clean and clear. I'm gonna cut you a break on the U-turns that you decided to pull on the railroad track for whatever reason. Um, let's make sure we're doing the U-turns at the stoplights, okay? Alright. Cool. Uh, what did you, do you have anything else? I don't have anything. Okay. So, ma'am, with that, I just need you to fill out a quick statement form that I have here about regards to what happened with that incident with the knife, okay? All right. Okay. Take this clipboard and uh, form. Just fill that out really quick. Make sure that goes in my peripherals, and then you guys will be free to go here. Uh, contact number would be great, along with the current address. That way, uh, in case we have to speak with you, we can come speak with you. How's it going? Over. Good. Okay, so... The story he gave me was the lady, she was walking down the street from the corner behind us. Uh, he was in his car putting his groceries away from the Mega Mall or whatever he was doing. All right. Um, he saw her walking down the street, he feared for his life, he pulled a knife, and then uh, she pulled a revolver, assuming fearing for her life because he pulled a knife. Uh, All right, so he was he the first one then. Right. He said he didn't say anything to her. Uh, he kept his mouth shut, so I don't know if there was interaction, but... So he didn't, he didn't attempt another... to say, back up or get away from me, I no. feel threatened, he just pulls out a knife and expects yeah. that to justify that would... how he's feeling? Correct, I Okay, guess. well then he's definitely in the wrong then. Ten four two five Mary Paul X-ray 87325. These guys Mary just Paul, cut the uh, traffic, three, nine, at least nine, the white car did. Pull. Pull to the side of the road. I have no idea where the white car went, but he is gone somewhere else. Fucking A, man. Oh, there's the white one. Do not move. If you move, you're going to get arrested. I got the white one right here. He's taking off. He's... Fucking trying to evade me, bro. Yeah, he's evading. Lucky 24, I have a white old school vehicle uh, that's attempting to evade me. I have no idea where they went. Last seen near 833 Crusade. 
I also had a black and red old school type vehicle pulled over as well. I told him to stay at the dollar pill parking lot or he'll be arrested. Uh, if I could get some 32s out to attempt to locate the old school type vehicles. Let's see if this guy's still here. If he's still here, then I'll be damned. He's still fucking there. <laughs> that other guy's gonna get arrested too then. Monkey 24, I have that other subject that actually stayed in the parking lot 848 Carson Avenue. I'm 1011 with him. Uh, the only outstanding subject is an all white uh, old school vehicle with a T on the back, has a T logo. 24, I don't even know if this is registered. Okay, so where is your other friend there in the white car? Don't know. Got no clue. Well, he's somewhere and he evaded me, so. Seems tough. I I genuinely got no clue. Okay. He is, yeah, he is part of. He is a friend of ours. He is in our crew, but I. Well, I don't no know. shit. I mean, that could have taken a blind person to figure that out, considering the fact that it's the same hey. car, different color. Hey, hey, hey. So Not do me a favor, car. driver. I need a license registration insurance, please, for the vehicle. Who's uh, it's the my driver vehicle. wearing? Oh, I got him. He's right here. Eight three six. He just didn't ran out onto strawberry. You got a uh, the driver okay. still? He's possibly wearing a suit. Okay. Yeah, I got him. Got me. Huh. Okay, I got your buddy there too. So, uh, Mr. Mangazo, just go ahead and sit tight for me, okay? This is my right. negative at this moment. My subject's cooperating. Um, 930's gonna have to advise on his. Passenger, curiously speaking, considering the fact that usually it doesn't play out this way, but what's your name? Are you in the dollar bill parking lot? Vito Mangazo. 10 4 on the uh, side of it, that little Mangazo. side parking lot. Okay, what what's your name again? Vito. Vito. And you have a valid driver's license? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Driver, you know you have no license at all, right? Oh. There's n no way. Right. You have be. a weapons license, but you don't have a driver's license. Isn't that just fine? I, oh, I must, I should have registered one, but. Okay. You do have, like I said, you do have a weapons license, which means the process is obviously knowledgeable on, know how, on a, how to do it. Near him. I'm talking to the driver because I give a fuck oh, less if you oh. have a license, if you're in the oh. passenger seat. Unless up. you have some weird ass car where you have control of the vehicle too. Like one of those driver school cars? Okay, so just to confirm, driver, your name is King Mangazo, right? Yes. Okay, you have no license. Oh, uh, well. Okay. You register one, but it's no big deal. Alright, should have, could have, would have, right? So yeah. right now, let's go ahead and have a hop out. I don't we don't need to take you to jail as you've as you've been cooperative. Uh, but I'm gonna have you hang out at the back of your car here, his car, whatever. Uh, passenger, just do me a favor, stay inside the vehicle. Any weapons inside there? Yep. Um, would that be a bad thing? Not necessarily. I just needed, I would like to know if there's any weapons there inside is. the vehicle. Okay, what okay, do we have? The dash. Okay, that'd be great. Thank you so much. Okay, just to let you know, we do have uh, weapons inside the car as well, too. I told passenger to keep his hands on the dashboard. I don't, driver's not a felon or anything, but he doesn't have a valid DL or anything in the system. Um, so that's kind of the breakdown. Okay, uh, this is your other guy? Um, I've never, I didn't see his face of if you saw him exiting that I mean, white vehicle. That's your, yeah. It's, okay, it's then that's the vehicle that I was in question then? for. The white, oh, okay. I, what? Don't pull there that we go. shit, I saw you run from the gas station. Oh, this is going to the DNB, man. Good day, my family members. He is a little, he's a little stupid sometimes. Okay, so we'll are that. you guys, are you guys trying to say that I wasn't behind you? Trying, I, I mean, obviously you heard me. You knew you were going to jail if you moved this car. So you heard well, no, me. No, no, no. I'm just saying, my, my brother over there. He's, he's another yeah, but he's guy, trying to play dumb and say that it wasn't him. We know yeah, it was no, him. Like I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, like I'm saying. All right. He's dumb. I want to make sure we're all on the same page here, which clearly yeah, no, I, I, he's I, I, not. So. All right. Uh, just keep sitting tight here for a second. Passengers, just do me a favor since I can't see through shit through that window. Can you just hop out? That way I keep an yep. eye on you too. Just stay back here near your buddy. No weapons on either of your persons, right? No, it's all no. in the car. Okay, just have a step back here towards the back of the vehicle. That'd be great. Beautiful man. Wealthy Thank man. Thank you so much. I'm talking about me, not you, man. You look ugly. I, I know. Okay. All right. So if that's the case, did you know that I was trying to pull you over? Or were you just running multiple consecutive red lights in hopes that you would get where you're going faster? Yeah. I was just trying to go to the vanilla unicorn quick as possible. Trying to go look at the ladies. I see. Now the only problem that I have with that is you 
you you turned right instead of going left towards the VU. So how do you expect me to believe that? So the GPS kind of told me to go throughout the other way. Did it? Yeah, kind of got distracted. So as I'm coming up here, as you guys are blowing red lights, you're the first person I saw to blow the red light here. I uh, attempted to get up there. By the time I did that, got cut off by this other vehicle who was blowing a red light, which was your buddy here. And uh, you were on the outside of the parking lot. As I come shooting out, you're halfway down the road, running every single red light possible. And then by the time I get up to the corner, you make a right-hand turn and you just disappear. So, I mean, it just, at that point, it just gives me only one conclusion that you were attempting to evade me for the traffic violations that I was going to pull you over for. No, oh, man, that's completely negative, man. They were all green lights, man. They were all green lights. So even that one yeah. that you went around traffic into oncoming oh. lanes to kick it off, that was a green light. Yeah, yeah, man, you're okay. kind of blind. What, what All right. Talking about? Didn't know what he was talking about five minutes ago. We're also I just done. He was, it's... Why he was brought here, so thanks for talking about it. Hey, now I know. You get a picture of and all also, this. an officer uh, put thanks. you to the car, so you can't tell me it's not yours. Yeah, I see the vehicle fleeing at an excessive rate of speed, running red lights, and then he sees you exiting that vehicle, which was ditched at a location close to the area that I found you. So yeah, it's just right behind the driving school. Yeah, I just don't have yeah, time like for... Yeah, like I said, I was paying tickets at the DMV. No, that's not what you said. You said you were going to the VU. So you yeah, were going no, to look, pub. I was going to the, the DMV to pay tickets, and then I was going to the VU. I see. But why'd you park? Why didn't you park in front? Why'd you have to park in the back Because they told me to park in the back. They Any more parts the to back. the story you want to add in before we finalize it, or is were, that your were, final story? They were, they were painting the lines to park, so I the couldn't end. park in the front. Okay, yeah. do you have a second to take this guy in? Yeah. I don't have a cage. You don't have a cage. Are you sure? I don't have a cage. Fantastic. Can you get me Look someone here that can take car. him? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me check your stuff really quick. Um, passenger, what's your name again? Uh, He's only guys. I'll just give you my ID. Thank you. 10 4, stay by. Uh, he doesn't have a license either. Dude, you don't have a fucking valid license either. You don't even have this vehicle registered. That's What the fuck, man? Honestly? You guys need to go to the DMV and ask for assistance on aisle one. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. Does anyone you know have a valid driver's license? Besides the guy that's getting fucking arrested right now? Oh. This right now. Okay, well, someone better call the DMV and get your shit done within the next like two to three minutes. Get a valid Got DL. You. Yeah, I want it to be the passenger since you were technically pulled over for a non valid DL. Uh, okay, so do that really quick. I'll be right back with you. Um, whose weapon is it inside the vehicle? There are two, I would say this there's two concealed handguns in the Both club. Of ours. Okay. Both of ours, yeah. What's the uh, for that one, it would just be the uh, two red lights and then the evading. So reckless driving. Yeah. And eluding. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, he's gonna go. Okay. For so basically, driving. passenger, you don't have a, a weapons license or anything at all. You have a written warning. So I'm not sure what's up with your stuff. So I'm seeing a valid driver's license this time. I also see another one for a weapon license as well that's also active. So that's good. Everything's checking out now. So we don't have to worry about that. I also see vehicle registration for the vehicle coming back valid pending as well. Uh, sports car Z-type red and black 1976. So that's perfect. Okay, everything's looking good. So we can now drive the vehicle from here. All right, you can drive the vehicle from here now since everything checks out with your stuff, okay? So, passenger, you're now the driver. Driver, you're now the passenger. Um, you were cooperative from the start. You pulled over. You listened to my commands. I'm not going to take it to you or anything today. Take it as a blessing and count your blessings, whatever it is, okay? Uh, don't go doing that again. You have way too many cops in this area to be running red lights blatantly like that, okay? I'm now going to walk around the corner and restart myself. Okay, fantastic. So, yep. here's your license back, uh, well, who is now the passenger, you can take that. Even though technically you don't have one. Your ID. Uh, there's your stuff back, sir. You guys are free to go. It's okay. 
Okay, wait for me to move my vehicle. I could activate for Appreciate it. This vehicle up here just made a uh, right hand turn from the wrong lane. And now I don't know what he's doing. He's popping back and forth left. And he did it again, bro. He did it again, right in front of me. I don't know what the fuck's going on between them. It looks like an old man. Monkey 24, 10, 11. Go. Hey man, you gotta get back in the car. Okay, get back in the car. I'll talk to you. 853 Strawberry Avenue. Looks like I had some type of road rage between two people. 32 on scene if they could advise. It's with a four-door old Lincoln Burgundy in color. Occupied times one. 853 Strawberry Avenue. What's going on, dude? I was trying to get away from the motorbike man. He almost hit my car, and dude, I almost killed him because he tried to like cut me up. Okay. To go you want to go have him. a chat with that guy on the bike? That's the other guy that I saw that was surrounding hey, this guy. Yeah, sure. He was, oh, he was you. very angry. I don't know why I didn't do anything. Grab your, man. grab your license. Let's hop okay. out of the car. We're gonna have a chat out here. New dispatch. One zero two one one. Traffic stop. Strawberry Avenue, 853. Perfect. Alright, let's take a step back to the front of my car over here. That way we can get some light. Okay, so uh, let me get my notepad. That would probably help. So start from the top where this happened and then what exactly happened after that. Um, I was go I was turning from the Mega Mall onto that you know, the one street with over there where the thing okay and um, I was just going to go I was gonna go I think it's a left turn lane or a straight at this so you were coming uh, on the um, right side anyway just came out of nowhere and he like pretty much cut me off I almost hit him off his bike I honked at him I he was like oh I'm gonna die. but he said something so really quick sir you were going down yes. Davis Avenue right and you turned left to go on to Carson yeah yeah and then right under Strawberry I here, gonna, right? Yeah. Okay, and then yes. you did a U-turn, correct? Yeah, just here I did a U-turn because he was like so following me crazy. Back there in front of the Mega Mall, what happened in front of the Mega Mall? Nothing, it was when we were turning, it was like once we turned to that straight, you came out of nowhere and like pretty much... Okay, did you not turn... Cut me off. I believe you were in the straight lane, right? Back there the near the lane. main, you were in the turn oh, lane. Oh, oh wait, that intersection there. No, I was in this. I was in that one, but I turned away to get away from him. I see. So yes, he was just parked next to you, though, correct? He almost cut me off, and he was saying stuff. How, how did he cut running. you off if the vehicles were still? That's what I'm curious no, about. When we were driving, you like came up out of nowhere, pretty much. Come. Okay, was like, he was he riding in the middle lane? Oh, he just came in front of me out of his lane. Out of his lane. Where? What lane was he in? Uh, the the middle, the straight lane. Uh, whatever left. Whatever left. Uh, whatever lane that wasn't the left. I was the left one. The okay. Kind of the right one there. I don't know. I don't have a very great memory because I'm a million years old. But anyway. Um, and then he was just saying. So I was just kind of scared before in this area. I was just leaving my house. I need to move houses. I, I don't see. Don't want to live here anymore. Yeah, yeah. Well, I saw you make several left turns from the straight lane, or you were in the straight lane and then went. Well, I don't know. You were doing a whole bunch of stuff, so that's why I was trying to figure out what you were doing. I yeah, saw the bike just, following you, but I wasn't sure what that was meaning. Yeah, I was just so. trying to get away from that guy. Okay, do me a favor. Just sit up right here. I'm gonna check your identification out and all that stuff. Yeah, okay. Arrest, uh, okay. Thank you. So I don't know if this guy is being attacked or followed or something by this guy that's making him feel uncomfortable by some degree. I really couldn't tell you. I saw some of it, but it looked like I was seeing something different than what's on, what I'm being told here necessarily. And he does have two licenses. He might actually have, let's see, driver's license. Okay, that's looking solid there. And driver's license valid. I don't know why that would be pending on that's that one. 10122, that's why, okay. So he has a pending one for a current license that he technically just got. So he's looking good on that. Vehicle registration, I would assume, is going to be... What was the plate? Elderly? He has two of these same plates, which is interesting. How does he get two plates? 
Oh, one's expired, that's why. That's gonna be pending valid on expiration 42424. Okay, what do you got with your guy? Uh, they, uh, he said that they were stopped at a red light down uh, by the Mega Mall. Um, this guy in front here got impatient, went opposite lanes, cut traffic. Uh, they took a left down here, eventually they got to this light. Um, apparently he turned right kind of into the bike, didn't hit him off, but threatened to um, hit him off the bike or something like that. Okay. So, on the first part, when you said that the subject, what was that first part you said? He said... To get out of the car and stand uh, here. Yes. He said that once there was when, uh, when there was stopped at the Mega Mall, he put the sky in the car, went opposite lanes of traffic, uh, Copy. to get past the red light. Okay. So I didn't yeah, see that. I did see him go. Different. Interesting. I should. I need to have a chat with this guy and see. Can you just sit here with this guy? Yeah, sure. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm getting conflicted stories here, so I just want to see exactly what's up. Okay, real quick, so as you're coming down the Mega Mall Road, what exactly did he do? Okay, well, see, I lane split it to the front of the line. I was getting ready to turn left, and he wasn't stuck in the back of the traffic to turn left. Uh, then after the light, you know, the light was still red, he got impatient and decided to go in oncoming lanes to take the left. And then the light turned green, and I pulled up next to him right here at this the intersection over here. And uh, he was in the going like the straight lane. I was in the lane to go right. Okay. And I was telling him, hey, that was like really unsafe to pull into oncoming lanes. And the light turned green, and I started to go turn take a left or right. My bad. And he took a right. And, and he went lane. right from the straight lane. Okay, that's where yeah. I started seeing stuff too. Okay. And then we. Came and then down that's here. when he got to this intersection. Right here that we're closest to, right where he did Precise. the U-turn. Precise. And he okay. threatened to hit me off my bike. And that was when he did the U-turn from the middle lane, because you were already in the left lane. Precise. Okay, because you technically were already making your turn first because you were in the left lane. Okay, so it makes sense. So any reason why he was driving like that, you think, or just impatient, just like you said? Yeah, impatient and an angry old man. That definitely could be it. Okay, I'm going to get you out of here really shortly. Uh, just give me one sec, okay? And then I'll have someone be back over with you. Alrighty. Okay, appreciate it. So, I have his story that corroborates with what I saw. So, in the end, that's going to be helpful for us. Okay, so... I got your side of the story. I got his side of the story. I'll be honest with you. Uh, what's your name again? Um, Mr. White. Okay. Funny how all yes. old people are somehow Mr. White. Anyways, uh, I'll be honest, what I saw I corroborates a lot more with what he said than what you're saying uh, at this exact moment. Crazy, amazing, that's, so maybe what he says more accurate. That's fine. Uh, basically, you're not in really any big trouble. You know, you're going to be receiving some moving infractions today for what I saw. Um, it's nothing is going to be based okay. off of what he said. All I'm doing is correlating with what I saw with what he said, and it, it's matching up more. So, uh, again, you're going to be receiving some citations as long as uh, everything checks out, which I already checked out everything. It looks good. Oh, I so. got enough for time and money to spend citations on, I guess. God damn it. Okay, if that's the case, good for you. Easier for you. Give me a second to get these citations written up. You want to hang out outside the car here with this uh, officer. I'll be with you shortly, and we'll get you out of here, okay? Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, 1168, you can release that guy. I'm going to get this guy tickets and we'll be code for. We're going to cite this guy for two maintaining lane uh, violations. And we'll go ahead and get him out of there. We do have that black SUV that we keep an eye out for, but chances are we're not going to see him again. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get you out of here with two maintaining lane tickets, okay? Okay. You did two so illegal like U-turns. Oh, okay, let's see. Isn't that the black SUV right there? That's that guy. Yeah. Stop breaking Hey, walls. come here. God damn. Okay, 24, we have that black SUV that just passed our scene here at 853. We're going to have a traffic stop on him. Okay, so I'm here's your copy. Can you just SUV sign the out. bottom yeah. of this citation, please? It's not an admission to guilt saying so take care of this in court. Thank you. There's Yo. your copy along with your information back. You're free to get in your vehicle. Please drive safe. I will have a good Thank you, used to. <laughs> used to. Okay, so they have that black SUV. That was the one that ran multiple red lights right here. 
Uh, no reason to really light up. They got two, two Crown Victorias. I don't know what's going on, but definitely something is going on between these two guys here. I'm gonna get the bike. I'm gonna get the bike just in case. Hey, how you doing? I'm sorry? Light was yellow. Okay, well that's not what I'm talking about. What? Why would you assume that that was it? I don't know, man. I don't even understand why I keep getting. I've been riding on the road legally. Okay. Well, this is what I'm. Did you just listen to me? How about that? Okay. Okay. So I'm just here to chat with you because you had that black SUV who was chasing after you at some pretty high rates of speed. We have them stopped, and I'm kind of curious what might have happened from your side of whatever the fuck might have happened. No, I actually didn't notice you. Me until like, like, they turned into the other way, and I was like, What the fuck? Okay, I didn't do anything to him, either. don't think it did anything to me. Uh, he was he was chasing after you like bad out of hell, so that's why I was kind of concerned to make sure that you didn't do anything or or oh, everything see. was okay. Although, unless it was the guy that I from that it was running, other than that, I don't know. Okay, so. You've not done anything. I saw what like you were talking about when it came with the yellow and all that stuff. So you know you're good on that. Um, okay. But I just was curious. So much for I get it. Laws. I get it. Well, I mean, just follow him then. That's what I've been doing. I got pulled over. So if I you were following him, I don't think you would be getting pulled over. So. I don't know, man. I don't but know what I to tell you. The dude wasn't doing anything to me. Is I didn't. I even seen him all day. I'm okay. Around a little bit, but other than that. All right, set tight one okay. sec, okay? Okay. One K twenty four to that unit that has the black SUV pulled over. Right now, uh, does he is he giving you a story or have any correlation with this guy on a bicycle? Forty seven. He hasn't said anything about it. Uh, he also claims it was a green light for him. Copy. Okay, you're free to go. Like I said, uh, you have a good day, okay? Okay, have a good day. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna go over there. It looked like he was chasing after that bike. Uh, I just wanna go ahead and chat with them just to make sure that uh, there wasn't anything that actually happened between those two individuals. He said it was green on his end, but uh, that's incorrect because I know it is. Where is he? Okay, so I assumed at first that this guy in the SUV was chasing after the guy on the bicycle for some unknown reason. That's why I started chasing after all of them. Uh, you stopped him. The whole uh, light you're talking about with him the guy on the bicycle went through there first at a pretty high rate of speed he went through as bare minimum legally as you could before it would have actually turned to a red light violation so the time that this guy actually went through the intersection basically would have just been a red light oh uh, yeah because because my light was green when he went through it so that's that's why i went stopped him absolutely so like the guy on the bicycle was the last person to make it through the intersection before it turned red so this guy was just way too late. Um, and he has no correlation with, like you said, with the bicycle. The bicycle said he didn't know him. He didn't even know he was chasing after him. So maybe I just well, thought I saw something different. So. Okay, I'm just trying to run his name now. And uh, is it Captain the mystery that I stopped earlier? Uh, I don't know if he was in... Hold on one sec. Possibly was. Um, how you doing, sir? Hello, sir. Were you stopped for a previous incident not that long ago in the... I can't remember what it was for exactly. That yeah, was in the passenger seat, sir. You were in the passenger seat of this car? Yes, sir. Okay. So, same vehicle then. Yeah, I didn't honestly get a good look at it. I guess he's saying it's the same car, but I couldn't tell you whether it was or was not. Okay. Uh, he's only got one citation on his record, so I'm probably just going to let him go with a uh, warning. Okay, yeah, I don't think anything else really crazy it's happened here, so. Alright, if you need anything, just call or I'll come back. Alright, I appreciate it, sir, thank you. Yep, have a good one. Copy a call. Like cool, that was pretty easy. Uh, the older model very low rider. Hey, 
Monkey 24, that subject's coming back up to get his car right now. I'm about to light him up. He's walking on foot, I believe, right in front of the emergency room. Copy, I'll be, uh... Central. I'll hey, bro, stop team. moving right now. Put your hands up. I know exactly who you are. I know exactly what car you were driving. You should probably get those tattoos removed off your face before you go and commit crimes. Put your hands up. I know you were walking back over to your car, and you were going to get your car right now. So the game's up. I know exactly what's up. Thank you so much for your cooperation. Get on your knees. As soon as I get him on his... Okay, taser to my left. Go hands-on. We're going to stay lethal. Snorkel, you got the best shot, so go ahead and stay on him. Marking 24, 1, 10, 15. All right, on, let's read him his rights really quick, then we'll go start questioning on him about what he was doing. But that's that's him. I already know it's you, bro. It's yeah. fine. Man, I was just right. to go meet my that's I fine. Was <laughs> cool. And I knew you were driving that vehicle, so. Was he yeah, driving so you, no you vehicle, have the right sir. to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you by the same percentage of Fucking so glad I was sitting across the street right there for some time. It's the second time in a really short amount of time where someone's came back to the fucking vehicle that they shouldn't have. Yeah, you're good. Appreciate it. What? Okay. Did you tow his car from over there, or...? No, I left it there specifically so good. he can get jumping in. Good. I was, I honestly forgot, I was just sitting over there at Don's driving school, and next thing I know, I see this guy that fucking all covered in tattoos and shit, I was like, oh shit. Yeah, I was sitting at the yeah. funeral. Cool. Alright, well there's our guy. You want me to process the vehicle? Yeah, we could get it uh, taken out now. What was that original thing that we were all chasing him for? I can't even remember. Uh, the, one of the tow units saw him run two red lights. That's right. But we've been dealing with them all day. Yeah. So Someone let's. Else came on scene and told me so that he just got pulled over a minute ago. I wish. Uh, did I? Did he get charged for that last one that he was just got for? Actually, it doesn't fucking matter because he just he purposely ran from us and ditched the car and then went back and came back in alternate clothes. So. Yeah. Okay, we got him. So we're not even gonna go ahead and press on it. We could just uh, get him for eluding. I'll go to uh, make the rush board and all the eluding correct. Uh, eluding correct, and let's get him for the two red lights that the tow trucks unit saw as well. All right, sounds good. Well, appreciate it. You have a good one. Yeah. That was a great catch that we got him. I'm surprised that we were able to snag him up like that. All right, everyone, that's going to be where we wrap up this episode of DOJRP. Getting you here at the Los Santos County Sheriff's Office. I'm actually going to swap over to a UC department right now so we can run this investigation on this guy i feel like i can make it enough for almost a full episode if not we'll tack on some calls afterwards but i i'm coming up on two hours and 38 minutes you guys are for sure i feel like gonna get like an hour long episode or at least close to for this leo and the lcso so nonetheless thank you so much for coming out and watching in this episode of dojrp and we will see you next video